Hi guys, this is Kevin. Welcome back to Midwest Woodcraft. Today I'm out on a friend's property. We're going to do a little solo overnight. He might make a short appearance out here today just to stop and visit for a little bit. But uh, i got a, quite a few things we're going to do tonight. I'm going to try to sleep in a hammock for the first time. I've um, got me a little set up here we're going to try out tonight. I uh, kind of have a lack of gear as far as keeping warm, but i got some little tricks I'm going to try see if we can make it through the night so it should be interesting we're gonna cook some food out here we're gonna work on a few little projects so stick with me we'll be back with you soon our spot's gonna be up top of that hill somewhere you can see the trail going up that way looks like down here we're gonna have uh, some tinder you know when you're in route to your campsite you always kind of want to be looking out for your resources Looks like we got some tender resources here, there's some potential firewood down here, things like that. So we got the dry goldenrod heads up here. We got some dry grass laying around, thin dry stalks, dead stalks. We have all these weeds here. All will help get a nice fire going. So we're gonna trek up to the top of this hill, find us a little spot. We'll be back with you. All right, so we made it to the top of the hill here, and you can see there's an open field there right ahead of us. Alongside, we have all this dead grass, good tender source, and I also jumped a really nice, fat, juicy eastern cottontail when I came up to the top of this hill. So a uh, good habitat over here for those to live in. To the left side of that grassy patch over there, you can see over there, you may be able to see my packs. I kind of dump pack over there. There's an old shack where my friend who owns this property, he built that back when he was way younger. Uh, he uses it kind of for some storage and stuff, but it's still standing there. He used to kind of hang out there and camp and stuff when he was younger. Pretty cool. Um, but over here in this little thicket is going to be my spot. It's a little bit overgrown and things like that, but uh, there's a nice trail leading up to it there, as you can see. And uh, I found a nice little spot where I hang my hammock. Um, first time I'm going with the hammock tonight, so uh, stay with me, and uh, we'll be back in there in a minute.
I think I got camp pretty much all set up. I got my little fire going. It's pretty much burned down the coals. Got my hammock and rain fly set up. Don't know how well it's set up. First time ever doing it, but uh, thought we'd give it a try tonight. I'm in a spot that's I'm about 200 yards away from my car. Just down the bottom of the hill is my car, and I'm probably about a mile away from the house. So I just thought I'd come out here, try this in a in a fairly cold weather environment. I think it's supposed to be down in the lower 30s tonight. Um, you can see that I put the mylar pad, which is just one of the car visors you put in the windshield, keep the sun from uh, harming your interior. Just basically one of those folds up like a fan, shoved it in the pack that's right in the pack. I just kind of unfolded that, sat it in the bottom, put my uh, climate uh, in static V insulated ground pad first time I'll be trying that um, put that on top of that then my the intermediate bag for my MSS um, I put my poncho liner or wooly tied it up underneath um, kind of cinched it up put some leaves and stuff in there you may see me do that that's just to add a little bit more insulation underneath me kind of like an under quilt I could have lowered the hammock down a little bit um, and just pile the leaves directly under the hammock. So I decided to try that out. I'm not really going to cover that too much in detail. We'll see how it works. If it works out good, then maybe we'll do a video on that in the future as I get better at setting up my, my hammock myself. So uh, don't really feel like I'm qualified to give any good info on setting up hammocks yet. Um, things are quieting down. Uh, just kind of sitting around now. Got most of the hard work done. Cleared this area out a little bit. There's quite a bit of undergrowth and everything in here. Um, kind of found this spot over here. The trees may be a little too close together, but I was kind of limited because I have widow makers in other areas wherever I had uh, hammock spots. I don't have anything dead that can fall on me over here. Nice safe area. Um, kind of protected by the crest of this hill from the wind and everything, so um, seems like a pretty good spot. Um, if I need to, I may lower everything, lower my ham, my ridge line, my hammock down a little bit, um, just to block the wind coming in from the sides. But hopefully this will all work out pretty well. Uh, I guess we'll find out uh, one way or the other. Anyway, I'm going to tidy up here a little bit, get things kind of situated. And then we'll start thinking about some food. Don't know how well you can see that there, but my friend Tim, the guy that owns this land, was nice enough to let me come up and camp. He came up to visit and decided he was going to stay too, so he just brought his MSS. He's got the three bags there with the uh, Gore-Tex bivy, and then he uh, just piled up some leaves, made him a little natural bed. He's got his neoprene gra neoprene ground pad uh, underneath that so uh, should keep him nice and warm tonight he's going to be here a few feet away from the fire so he's going to stay nice and toasty hey guys it's about 20 after 10 it's about 32 degrees seem to be pretty snug and warm in here i've been laying in here about 20 minutes got my temperature kind of regulated and Seems to be going pretty good so far, so we'll just see how it goes. Old T-Bone, he's over there 
laying on his pile of leaves and his uh, poly mat and his uh, MSS. We'll see how he does tonight too. Night, y'all. Just got up a little bit ago. T-Bone, he uh, packed up, took off back to the house already. Appreciate him coming out and camping with me. Appreciate him letting us come out here and uh, do some things really nice of him. Uh, we had a little bit of coffee earlier, but uh, I'm going to get me a small pot going here. That way we can have us a little bit of, of a fireside chat before I uh, get up out of here. So stay with me just a few more minutes, and uh, then I'll leave you alone. I got out of here I just want to take a couple minutes with you uh, I know there wasn't a whole lot of talking and explaining going on in this video hopefully it's not too boring and actually hopefully I have enough footage to put some kind of video together um, I slept for the first time last night in a hammock uh, went pretty good I did uh, I adjusted it several times through the day I'd set it up and kind of lay in it for a little while see how I like the the uh, angles and things and I adjusted it several times throughout the day got it to where I thought I wanted it um, and it did pretty good overnight of course the hammock did stretch which was as to be expected so by the time I woke up it had stretched enough to where my little makeshift ground pad where I put the USGI Wooby tied it up underneath the hammock and filled it full of leaves that was pretty much laying on the ground which worked out to my benefit because then I didn't have any wind going underneath that hammock at all and with the leaves as insulation in there it worked out really great I never had any cold come up through my back um, or anything like that of course I did have the mylar pad inside the hammock and the climate insulated pad in there they did slide around a little bit on one another made it kind of a pain in the butt but uh, uh, with a little bit of experience now I know what I need to kind of remedy uh, but as far as warmth I was toasty warm all night very comfortable um, I didn't want to get out of my bag this morning whenever it was time to wake up, to be honest with you. I started unzipping it and felt that cold air, and I just wanted to stay there. But uh, my buddy Tim, he was sleeping over here on the ground. He had a insulation, a ground insulation pad he made out of leaves, and then he put his neoprene uh, sleep pad on top of that, and then just slept in the three-bag system, the MSS. Uh, he had the intermediate patrol bag and the, the bivy. He said when he woke up this morning at 4 o'clock, uh, he was sweating, so that's why he got up. And when I woke up, he was kind of tending to the fire, making coffee and stuff. He packed up here just a few minutes ago and headed on down the trail. He had some things he had to do today. But I appreciate you coming out and camping with me, Tim. I appreciate you uh, letting me use your land uh, to do some of these experiments. It's great to have a place somewhere close to home to where if you get in some kind of trouble, if it would have started storming real bad or if it would have got too cold or anything. I was 200 yards away from the car and less than a mile from the house. I could have, you know, turned tail and ran home, come back and got my stuff in the morning. So I really appreciate it, Tim. Um, and that goes for all you guys. Don't be afraid to go out and your buddies patch of woods in the backyard or even in your backyard itself try out your gear try out your new methods and things like that because you want to get this stuff down before you get out into a place to where if you get in trouble you're really in trouble like right here I could have ran down to the bottom of the hill hopped in my car and been home in a minute you know those are the situations you want to test things you don't want to get out in the middle of nowhere with your brand new hammock or or whatever brand new piece of gear piece of equipment whatever the case may be and have it fail on you out there when you're in a dire situation anyhow guys I hope you enjoyed the little video hopefully this becomes a video very happy new year to everyone have a fantastic 2017 here at Midwest Woodcraft I feel like we're starting it off right this is Kevin hope to see you in the woods real soon